How's everybody doing? T.L. Belknap. Talk about some uh, thrift finds, you know. Things like that. I didn't go to any yard sales this week. There just didn't any. You know, thanks. we had Thanksgiving. And um, with this thing that's been going on, it just hasn't, you know, not been a whole lot. And plus, it's fall time and Thanksgiving and all that, like I said. Uh... I did hit up a few, a few thrift stores, and uh, and a couple other places. Um, Dollar Tree didn't get a whole lot, but I got some at the Dollar Tree. Okay, as far as tools this week, I got a pair of uh, flush trim cutters. Great for uh, model making, things like that. I only paid a couple dollars for these at a thrift store. Um, they were brand new in the pack, and I threw away the package, and I do not remember the brand. And it doesn't say on there, so I would say they're definitely a cheaper, a cheaper brand, but uh, they're not bad. I think that's the only tool I got this week. I might have got a couple screwdrivers, but... Um, I don't remember. Okay, next I'll do, uh, books. I lucked out and I found this set of, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, Sumerian box set on CD. I think, all uh, brand new. I don't think anybody's even, even listened to maybe past the first one. I tried reading this book. I read The Lord of the Rings, I read The Hobbit, and I read the other stuff by Tolkien, um, some of the other stuff, but I tried reading The Sumerian. Turn around this way, it looks a little nicer. I tried reading this book, but uh, it's interesting. It's I would say it's similar to like the Holy Bible and, you know, from Middle Earth. Uh, my problem, my problem with it is, is all the names, they're, you know, all the characters. There are so many characters in this book. It's hard to keep them separated and uh, remember who they all are. And then the names, trying trying to pronounce all the names. But um, like I said, it's really interesting. Maybe one day I'll get through the whole book, but I'm definitely going to listen to it now. That was nice. I picked up a, a fairly new copy of Something's Under the Something Under the Bed is Drawing. This is a Cabin and Hobbs book by Bill Watterson. Uh, I think I think uh, when I was younger, I probably read this. Uh, I know I, I've read everything, every Cabin and Hobbs there is. I'm pretty sure I probably read this one too. But this is a nice add to the collection. The kid will enjoy it as well. This one here, I'm going to give to the kid. This is uh, Many Weapons of Mass Destruction, Building Im Implements of spit Spitball warf Warfare. This is uh, John Austin. It's pretty neat. It's, I would have loved this book when I was 12 years old, but it's definitely got all kinds of things that you could do. Rubber band cannons and shooting different things and different kind of trebuchets and whatnot. Anything in the desk drawer, I say, you could turn into a, uh, a toy to distract yourself from what you should be doing. Kid will enjoy that. This is a Star Wars trilogy, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and The Return of the Jedi in one book. Pretty nice. I'll definitely, I'll definitely read that. It might take me a while, but I'll get to it. That's in softback. I got a hardback, hardcover version of uh, episode one, The Phantom Menace. This is by Terry Brooks. Pretty sweet. No pictures though. 
And, uh, that was a joke. Um, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack, uh, Attack of the Clones. Who's this one by? R.A. Sal Salvatore. Here's the back. Pretty cool. And that's it as far as books go. I picked up this uh, realistic uh, super tape. This is laboratory standard. High output 90. This is a recordable 8 track. I don't know if there is anything on it. I do not have a 8 track player, but I would say it's probably never been used because I could see where the tape is hooked together right there to splice right at the beginning. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the front of the tape. Mostly this is for decoration. Put it up there with the other one that I have. The other one's right here. I think I showed it in the past. I'll grab it and show it again. Try not to knock anything down here. I like this one's got those mushrooms on it. I don't know what brand. Oh, this is Capital. It's still brand new. Never been a part of the part of the card is missing. Okay, that's that's it as far as that kind of stuff. There just wasn't a whole lot to do this week. The one little thrift store that I go to, they closed down for the week of Thanksgiving because they uh, feed the homeless and uh, they put together boxes, you know, for Thanksgiving dinner for 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 um, families and homeless people and whatever. And that's what they do. Um, they should probably open back up this week. Okay, I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up, looks like four or five movies here. Um, I'm not going to buy a lot of movies from the Dollar Tree just because, you know, most of they have horror movies and them, them kind of thrillers and really not uh, movies that I appreciate. I think when I was a lot younger, I probably appreciated them a lot more, but... I, I don't know. All that stuff bothers me now for some reason, and I just don't get the enjoyment out of it I used to. But this is uh, Bruce Willis, Thomas Jane. You know, those are two pretty good actors that I appreciate. Um, Vice, the future will not be modified, it says. There's that. Turn it around. <sighs> that might be interesting. And it, this says... Uh, in the name of Ben Hur, the legend returns. I've watched a couple of the Ben Hur mo movies. They were okay, so I thought this might be pretty good. I'll watch it and add it in there. Uh, here's a documentary. Um, the kid will enjoy it probably more than I will. But this is a BBC Earth Ice Age Giants, the Woolly Mammoth, Secret from the Ice. I like the cover. Like I said, the kid will get more enjoyment out of Die Well. He, he likes that kind of stuff a lot. Um, ben Affleck, uh, Live by Night. I enjoy most of Ben Affleck's movies. Kind of pissed me off a little bit when he tried to kill Superman, but you know, whatever. And here's one, uh, I've watched a couple of this dude's movies. This is a Scott Eastwood Diablo. And, you know, Clint Eastwood's kid. He's, he's a pretty good, uh, he's a pretty good actor. He doesn't have the voice that Clint Eastwood does, but he looks a lot like him. Got a nice slip cover. Beyond Hope, Beyond Regret, Beyond Salvation. Looks like a Western. But, uh, definitely can enjoy that. Okay, the next group of movies here I got from thrift stores. Um, in our area, we have St. Vincent de Paul. It's a few, couple of those, two or three of those that are, you know, pretty close. Uh, Go Will, which probably I think everybody's got Good Will. And there's uh, two... Three of those, pretty close. And over in uh, in Ohio, there's a 
Salvation Army. I don't get over there too often. Once in a while, if I go to Jungle Gems, it's right by Jungle Gems, which, I don't know, I try to go to Jungle Gems once or twice a month. Here lately, I, I've been hitting up, I've been going to uh, Whole Food Market and uh, Trader Joe's, so it's been, I've been skipping Jungle Gems. Um, let's see here. These are all Blu-rays. I got these from... Like I said, I got these from St. Vincent de Paul and Goodwill. And I don't think I went to any other thrift stores this week. This is uh, the Vin Diesel Riddick collection, which I was looking for the Chronicles of Riddick, but this one has pitch black on it too, so that was awesome. I was able to already watch these. They're great. It's a great science fiction movie if you like that kind of thing, and I do. This is Arn, the, the, that's on Blu-ray. This is on uh, Arn, the Night Templar Complete Series on Blu-ray. Haven't seen it, I don't know nothing about it, but you know, those kind of movies can be, can be fun to watch. Okay, here, this one, uh, Simon, Te uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, Hot Fuzz. I had a copy of this that I'd found in the big, in the big tote that I got a few, a month or so ago and it did not play I, I tried watching it it would play through the credits or through the uh, through the trailers and then it would stop it just would not it would not go farther than that there were no scratches on it I guess it was just a glitch but uh, I'm looking forward to this this is the ultimate edition you know these two guys are they crack me up um, Another Blu-ray, The Fifth Wave. I don't know. I've never seen it. it looks like an alien movie, sci-fi. Might be interesting. Give that a watch. And then this one here, Clash of the Titans. I have several copies of the Clash of the Titans. This one's on Blu-ray. I don't. I don't think I have this version. I don't recognize the people in it, but. The effects look like they could be cheesy and really cool, so I'll watch that. The rest of these are Blu-rays. I haven't seen this. This is a James Crank Cameron film, Sanctum. Looks. I, I may have watched this when it first came out years ago. I don't. I don't remember. I might have rented it and watched it with the wife. Caddyshack. This is a classic that goes back to my childhood. Uh, kind of funny here's one I've never heard of this is a uh, gondola rise of a hero maybe Japanese I'm not sure but I like the cover art I'm definitely gonna give it a watch if it's subtitled I'm not watching it I just you know it's hard to read the subtitles and enjoy the film so I'm gonna give it a watch it doesn't say that it's subtitled anywhere, as far as I can tell. But it's neat looking. I didn't realize this was a uh, full screen movie, and it's a Hallmark Entertainment, so, you know. Um, Ange Angelica Houston and Melanie Griffith, three hours, two part TV miniseries, Buffalo Girls. Who is that on there right there? I don't know who that is. But it might be pretty good. I'll watch it once. You know, it's full screen now. That kind of takes away from it. Here's one I've never heard of. And I don't know. It might be okay. Frankenstein, the true story. DVD. I got these cheap. I only paid maybe I think two dollars there's one I seen this one a while ago uh, I can't remember if it was good or not but it Gina Davis and Matthew Modine uh, cutthroat island pretty nice this uh, slip cover and all that looks like it never been touched I opened it up and took a look at it. Here's a good one. I, I watched this. Well, the first one. Mr. and Mrs. Smith and True Lies. Double feature. 
I watched Mr. and Mrs. Smith just the other day. Pretty funny, pretty entertaining. Uh, True Lies, it's been a while since I've seen that, but I have seen that a couple times. Pretty good movie. Okay, Harrison Ford, Claren Present Danger. I've been collecting this series. Uh, this is the Jack part of the Jack Ryan series. And I enjoy those movies and even a TV show. I haven't seen very much of the TV show because I, I don't have cable and I don't have Netflix or any of that kind of thing. But um, I think before the video store closed, I had rented it, part of it. And then... Um, Kevin Costner, Dances with Wolves. I've seen this a few times. Uh, it was nice to get a copy of that. This has got a really nice slip cover. Slips out the side. Uh, special edition. It's got two discs. It's got the booklet in there, the, the ephemera. And uh, like I said, nice, real nice slip cover. And then uh, I picked this up at St. Vincent de Paul, uh, pretty cheap. The Dark Knight Trilogy, it's got a nice, uh, what do you call it? I forget what you call that. It's got that cover on it. And inside, inside the slit is thick cardboard slip. It's got a booklet that, uh, Images from the movie, and then let's go. Hmm. Let me move these cards here. These are uh, the digital downloads, but they expired in 2014. It's got all three. These things are brand new. I don't, they're not even a fingerprint on them. I don't think anybody's. I don't understand how people. You know, maybe they just download the the digital things but people will take either take really good care of their stuff or they just don't watch it I don't know okay the next group here comes from oh I forgot my art over there these come from half price books I don't know if you don't have half price books in your area you know uh, it's a pretty good bookstore they sell all kinds of media of every every kind of media um, John Wick 2 add this to my collection on blu-ray it's got blu-ray and DVD in there the digital copy wasn't in there but you know it don't matter I don't I don't use those anyway and also I picked up Mad, Ma Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome and the Road Warrior I already had the Road Warrior but I was been looking for Mad Max that's a pretty good one Tina Turner you know Mel Gibson, some stills on the back there. I paid uh, their price for those. The rest of these, if you live, if you live near Northern Kentucky, you know the uh, Dollar Tree in Florence right now is putting on a sale all their all their uh, lower price DVDs, which are three dollars a piece, are are marked down to one dollar, and yeah, I got a bunch. Some that I don't have in my in my uh, collection, and some that I do. I should have pulled the label off of this one. Let me pull that off. Brand new, unopened, Blu-ray, the Wolverine. I have this on Blu-ray. I do not have it on DVD or on. Uh, I have this on DVD. I do not have it on Blu-ray, but now I do. This has both. And it looks like it has a digital copy in it, but still good. Um, the Seventh Son with Jeff Bridges. Pretty good movie. I watched this when it first came out. Blu-ray. And then this is a triple feature. 300, Troy, and Alexander. All on separate discs. Said all these cost me a dollar. Blu-ray. Um, this uh, Journey to the Mysterious Island on Blu-ray. I have this on DVD, so I guess this is technically an upgrade. 
The Goonies on, on Blu-ray. Also, I have this on DVD. I used to have it on VHS. I don't know what happened to it, but I don't really have a bunch of VHSs. This is uh, uh, Jason Statham, Death Race. I haven't seen this movie. I know there's a couple of them. I, never, I don't know why i never seen this movie, but I'm definitely watching it now. And here's another 300 movie on Blu-ray, right? Uh, 300 Rise of an Empire. I don't think I have this one at all. Well, I do now. And then here's the classic. I've watched this movie a bunch of times. Um, Clint Eastwood, Every Which Way But Loose. Now I have to find any which way you can. I love this movie. And then here's another classic. Brand new, unopened, The Outlaw of Josie Wells, another Clint Eastwood classic. Love this movie. Okay, the, another, let's see, this is a DVD. Um, Crocodile Dundee, the first movie. It's pretty cool. Hunger Games, I watched this when it first came out. Here's a classic, another classic. Um, Patrick Swayze, Roadhouse. I don't know, there's something about this movie. I didn't really appreciate it that much, but I do remember Patrick Swayze uh, beating the hell out of a few people in that. Um, Haley Joe Osment, AI, Artificial Intelligence. I remember this movie being kind of trippy. Now here's one I never heard of or seen. This is a Vin Diesel movie, The Last Witch Hunter, brand new, unopened. Got a nice slip cover. But for a dollar, might as well give it a look. Um, me and my wife watched this when it first came out. It's got another one of those covers 28 days later. I can't, nice slip cover. I picked this one up. Uh, Monsters Inc. This is an old one. And last here, um, The Adventures of Robinson Crusoe on Clipper Island. I never seen this series. This is a 14 episode series. Um, two discs, it says. So, you know, might be good. It's a mo I think it's a modern. Or, or a more modern version of uh, Robinson Crusoe. I mean, I've read those books, but I don't remember an airplane being in those books. In that book, I should say. I'm joking. Okay, um, let me grab my art over here. Okay, here you go. This is a photograph of, of the top of some trees. I believe this was taken in Thailand. Pretty good. I like it. So, anyways, that's all my uh, th all my uh, I the picture, the photo. I've had it for a little while, a couple years, I believe. Scared me. Wind's blowing. Man, it snowed. I can't stand snow. Even here in northern Kentucky, we get a little bit of snow, but we don't. You know, when I lived in Ohio, it was way worse. All right, anyway, uh, thank you guys, and, uh, you know, like, share, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Leave a comment. You know, nobody leaves comments for some reason. Um, if you, if you see any of the videos and any of the movies that I, sh that I show, the DVDs I show, if there's something that, that might interest you guys, uh, let me know. I, I'm always up for a trade. I'm looking for a few movies. I'm looking for the Red State, Kevin Smith movie. And I am looking for Judge Dredd. For some reason, I cannot find a copy of that. And, uh, I don't know. There's a few others. I'm always, you know. But, anyway. Y'all be good. I'll talk to you later.